From the beginning of our existence, we have created messes. Addicted to recklessness because we are so restless, the capacity of sin within a human will leave you breathless. But nonetheless, I believe in a God that turns our mess into a message. We are the consistency of hypocrisy, spiritual adultery, mockery, claiming the trust in God, yet we act so solemnly, calling others to die to themselves, yet we can't even love who we are following. See? While this world is swallowing this sin-filled capsule, this deathly pill, us Christians sit still and our bellies we fill and just food without chewing, call for action without doing. It's a mess how Christ's own body isn't even moving. It creates alcoholics and drug addictions, idolatry, and false convictions. We create a culture of indifference. We put more trust in our self-made factualism than we do in our spiritual realism. We create a culture of Christianity that can be mistaken for moralistic atheism. Abortions outnumber the births. Social status is put over spiritual worth. Our fingers are filthy, we're living in dirt. We have twisted love so much we love when love hurts, you see. We seek self-pleasure and a self-image we seek. Day by day and week by week we reap without sowing, live without growing, hear without learning, believe without discerning. God's stomach is churning, reliving the crucifixion over and over, again and again, spitting in his face after he called us sinners his friends. You see, we have missed the point since our sinful beginning. We are used to our dysfunctional living. Look at the mess we have made. Lying in ruins while we continue to ruin. Sin is creeping at our doorsteps and evil is brewing out of our mouths. Garbage is spewing. We were given a savior. So what are we doing? See, abusing, abandoning, forsaking our duty, stealing and looting, taking and never producing. Look at the mess we have made. We go to war with our enemies while God befriends his. Due to that truth, I know God turns our mess into a message. That message is called Jesus Christ, the good news, the gospel. He perceived us troubled children as ill-stricken orphans, made himself flesh so we would suffer no longer. This message can only come from a merciful Father. So, to those who are addicted to wandering, addicted to enslavement, whose feet are stuck in the pavement and know nothing of his holy and spiritual payments, pack your bags and drop your pennies, embrace his death and collect your living, practice his love and start forgiving, empty yourself and he will fill you plenty. See, he will use you if you are willing. He will use you for his glory assist him in salvation, make his message our declaration, a proclamation, association, our denominations, immerse yourself into his forgiveness. Our mess is colossal, but his message is glorious. It is relentless, unified nations, ethnicities, and all pigments, crucified all sin, evil, and legalistic religions, saw spiritual criminals and pardoned, parted us from sin like he parted the waters, took on sin so it could reign no longer. I said it before, for, and I say it again, I believe in a God that turns our mess into a message.